Hi Internet. I've decided to do vlog every day in April this year, so I thought a good way to start off is to do a draw my life video, like the kinds that have already been floating around, as a way to introduce myself. So here we go. I was born in a suburb of Atlanta, Georgia 25 years ago. I have a brother who's two years younger than me and a sister who's seven years younger than me. The earliest memory I have is the day I moved into my childhood home. I was about three and I remember standing in the garage as my dad carried boxes and stuff into our kitchen. I've lived in that house my whole life, except for the few years that I spent away at college. Around third grade, when they threw multiplication at us, school got really hard for me. I remember my struggles in math especially beginning to negatively affect how I felt about myself. I also remember having some really awesome teachers that would stay after school to give me extra help and showed me what hard work and determination could do. These women inspired me to become a teacher later in life. In middle school, I joined band and learned how to play the French horn, although not very well. I also joined a sign language club, and that decision would impact my choice of career later too. In high school, I joined marching band and made a lot of really nerdy friends. I took Latin as my foreign language, and I hung out in the band room pretty much any time I had free time. My perfectionist ways and anxiety over my grades turned into depression, so most of my high school experience is not something I like to talk about or look back on fondly. My depression caused me to miss a lot of school, and after a lot of deliberation and even part of a semester at an alternative school, I decided to drop out and get a GED. I suppose as a teacher, I should tell you to stay in school no matter what, but the truth is, my high school didn't support me or make accommodations for my illness, so I had to make my own path. My recovery wasn't easy, and to be honest, I don't feel comfortable sharing the details of it, but while on this path, I found Harry Potter, who showed me the power of love and made me feel excited about life again. In this excitement, I also learned how to knit and crochet, I became a nerd fighter, and I embraced and started to like myself for who I was. I still struggle from time to time, but no one can be happy all the time, and it always gets better. After getting my GED, I went to a community college close to home for a couple of years so that I could save money. Then I transferred to Valdosta State University to finish my degree in deaf education. I earned a bachelor's degree in special education in December of 2011. Then I moved back home to get my master's degree, which I finished in December 2012. Since graduation, I've been working as a substitute teacher, and I'm not entirely sure where I'll be for the next school year. I hope it's somewhere awesome where I can continue to grow and learn about myself and the world. I hope you enjoyed my video and my poor drawing skills. I have a few other video ideas for the rest of Vlog Every Day in April. I hope you'll stick around and watch some. See you soon!